Okay, so we will analyze the technicals of the stock. So we analyze the value of. So we start with uh, looking at it from a long term view, one year view. So we look at Ayala Corp first. So we notice that the uh, Bollinger Bands are kind of narrow for the largest part of the year until the time of the times uh, break up. And most of the stocks behave this way. So right now it's at 597, up 6.61%. Okay, three month view for that March 19 lowest point uh, 360 and now it went up marching from that low to 597 okay. it's high it's at 600 the RSI is still neutral not yet over overbought uh, the ADX points to the buyers outnumbering the sellers the trend line is going, is uh, easing a bit, but it's still high, it's still a recognized trend. And uh, MACD uh, had its uh, right now, it's still not positive. MACD has crossed the signal. Um, Sometime in late March, still not positive. For the first time, all some oscillator points go positive bar. Uh, so, yeah, let's find out what to do with the uh, part, right? Ayala Land, almost the same, same look, right? Um, the one year view. On your view, look at that same, almost the same um, story as the Ayala part. Breakout happened in March and now it's at 21.55, uh, up 4.47 last Friday. Okay, so that's where breakout happened, lows 19.44 and now it's at 31.65. Still not. Uh, overbought. It's at 45. The RSI is at 45. Okay, so the Bollinger Bands, the, the position of Ayala Land is in the center, so it's new. So goes the same with the RSI. So we said 47.71 is still neutral. For the ADX, the sellers still outnumber the buyers, so it's still bearish at this point. And the trend line is at around 28, so it's easing down from high of 40. That's uh, the crossover happened in March 27 for the MACD, but still MACD is still negative. So it's not yet confirmed the, there the bullishness if it will ever turn that way. It's not yet confirmed. So right now it's not yet clear whether Ali will, will continue and it's moved up. Okay, Fly again, it's almost the same story, but uh, Fly has been hard hit. You know? um, it's up 1.05% though last Friday, but uh, this is how Fly looked like. Three month view, okay, at about that time, March 23. The low is 0.77. Now it's at one, almost almost one, but 0.95. Alright, and the high of 0.97. So almost the same. Very thin trade. Uh, RSI still at 45, neutral. Here the seller still outnumbered the buyers. So for ADS, it's not yet confirmed, but it's trending still, the trend is strong. For MACD, crossover happened in March 27. Crossover went, uh, MACD crossover to the upside, but still negative. Awesome oscillator, still negative. 
Okay, how about San Miguel Corporation? So for San Miguel Corporation, again, same story. Uh, narrow, narrow Bollinger. So price was ranging for the majority of the year, and then breakout happened. Breakout happened. Uh, that was the bear side. That was the lowest in March 19, and then it went up. Uh, last Friday, it uh, has felt some sell off over there. High is at 101, but uh, it's way down. Um, so there's a pressure for Samuel to go down. Um, sellers uh, are lower than. MACD is still up, but uh, not, yet, not yet in the bullish region, so not yet clear. MPI, again, same story, majority of the year, arrowing, uh, and then the breakout happened. But for the MPI, there was a breakout already in, in December, and then another one. Another sell off in March. So right now MPI is at 270. So yes, on 21 March 23, the low is 2.28. Right? Then it's on March up, but uh, it has not done really that high. It's a RSI is at 49 neutral zone. The sellers still outnumber the buyers. The trend is high. Okay, for MACD, it was a crossover last April. Uh, it's a bullish crossover, but it's not yet a confirmed bullishness. But the bullishness is not yet confirmed because uh, MACD and Sigma are both still in the negative region. Awesome, yes. It's green, but it's still in the negative region. AGI, AGI, more or less same story. Uh, major breakout happened there in March 2020. All the red candles, long red candles at that. So looking at the three month view. There's the huge red candle. And starting from March 13, then March 19, low of 569. Now it's at 7.10, up 1.14%. Still an uptrend, but uh, well, uh, RSI is not yet overbought. It's at 42. Uh, ADX sellers outnumber the buyers. Trend is high. Luckily, there's a, a crossover, bullish crossover, but it's not yet a firm bullish. Uh, it's still not yet in the bullish region, so we're not yet sure about it yet. So finally, what's our decision? So given that our stocks are all good stocks, they're good companies, we know that uh, if this were you know ordinary times would have bought them at an instant with those prices right but the thing is looking at the direction of the charts as it is now the market is not yet firm the market has a lot to lose in the coming weeks with the kind of um, market that we have right now it's a volatile market and the news uh, that is uncertain with you know the economy when it will go into when we will be opening again so these things are uncertainties markets well investors for that matter they don't like uncertainties so the way the market is going especially when we look at last uh, friday we know that the market is uncertain and it's going to go through some uncertain paths still so the best thing to do right now is to hold on to our horses and try to find out whether the market is going to be firm next week 
we have to be certain before we make a purchase because we cannot go on riding a bear market so right now all we have to do is take a look at the market study it uh, for some uh, some time next week and let's see whether the Bollinger Bands will narrow already because that will be the signal of our uh, price consolidation right now it's not yet consolidating so we'll make our decision next week and hopefully we're not yet too late so that's it thank you for listening and thank you for subscribing and liking our content thank you very much